Hi everyone and welcome back. I've got a few people that's of the opinion that this thing is hectically heavy due to being constructed totally out of steel and they are questioning my spreadsheet which, which might be right so I thought instead of waiting till I'm finished let me weigh it right now and I'll get a very good base point. So what we have here is a set of racing scales from one of my friends that owns a tuning shop. Uh, he builds race cars and they use these scales on the four corners of a car to get the balance and the bias and weight distribution right of race cars. So they're very accurate and they're going to be perfect for weighing the trailer. I'll get one under each wheel and one under the jockey wheel and then that way I'll get to see the total weight. You'll see there's lots of stuff that I've added onto the trailer. Basically all of this is what's needed to finish the trailer or get it very very close to being finished. For instance, um, the rubber seals, the trailer needs like 60 meters, this is a complete 100 meter roll. These are the gussets for the awning, uh, lifting jack, mount brackets, shelving that still needs to go inside, shocks. There's the compression latches for the rest of the doors. The canvas zips, again I might only need like 50 meters, the whole 100 meter roll is on here. So I'm not going to try and, and get every ounce of gram off the total weight. If you look on top there, that is a full roll of 300 gram canvas, enough to do all the tents and the awning and have some spare. Uh, that aluminium sections over there is for the awning arms. You can see they've not been cut down, they're still full lengths. But I just chucked them on there. There's a huge piece of angle line at the back that's going to form the awning bracket. That's also there. Walk around the back. I've got the spare wheel strung up there because that's more or less where it's going to sit at the end of the day with some mounting hardware that's still going to get added. Inside here, I've put the poles inside. These poles will keep the two tents erect. So when you pop them open, this will be like the structure that keeps them, keeps them up. I've got lifting jacks. There's only one water tank in here. I still don't have the other one, but that's only like four and a half kilos. That's the polystyrene that's going to go underneath the mattresses to even out if you look at the door, you know, it's going to even out that whole surface, so it's a flat, flat surface to sleep on. In this corner, I've got the 5 kilowatt inverter and a 2.4 kilowatt lithium battery pack that's going to be installed. Let's get weighing. Just a quick check to make sure the scales go back to zero. Before seeing the weight, I was nervous. Here you can see me putting the wheel blocks on the scale and then jeering it, so they don't get added to the weight. A bit later, you'll see that I jeered the scale without them. I thought to myself that that 3 or so kilos won't make that much of a difference. I had to be really careful as this thing wanted to roll off the scales every chance it got. Being alone today, I had to finesse the jockey wheel onto the scale. That's why I didn't just jack it up, because I wanted to pull the rear wheel on the other side off the scale. This way, there's minimal movement on the rear wheels. Alright, so the trailer is completely on the scales now, everything is on the scales. Right now we got 126.6 kilos in front. We got 488 kilos on this wheel. And on this side we have 486.1. So if you add those up, we're now on 1,107 kilos, which is extremely light. So there we have it. I cannot begin to explain to you how chuffed I am with that result. I mean, when building my spreadsheet, I would weigh a tire and a rim, and if it's 37 kilos, I would enter it as 40. But obviously, 
on every item, if you add, 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 it all adds up to a lot of kilograms. That's why my spreadsheet said that I would end up at around about 1,300 kilos. Um, I still added another 50 when I put the description in the video back in the day just to make sure that I don't um, go under. I mean, basically, after mounting all of this equipment, I need to paint it. I don't even think paint and primer will weigh 20 kilos <laughs> once it's dried because all your, your thinness and stuff evaporates. So I need to add mattresses, which is also not heavy. Foam mattresses don't weigh a lot. Another water tank, four and a half kilos. The fiberglass sheet on top of the roof, which is like four and a half kilos or three kilos. They're, they're, they're very light. And then it's basically finished. I cannot see this trailer even touching 1,200 kilos. Maybe like 1,170, I would guess. Which is extremely light for the type of construction that I've got going on here. Everything is steel, strong as hell. So at least for anybody wondering if I was busy building a tank that I would not be able to tow around, this thing is a lightweight. Just goes to show you, just because it looks like a tank doesn't mean it weighs as much as a tank. I am seriously chuffed with the weight and we'll take it from there. I quickly slapped these two shelves together and installed them while I was at it. By now, it's straightforward how I do these things, so I thought I'll just add it to the trailer weight video. So there's at least something happening to the trailer in this video. So here we got another issue. Remember back in the first video where I said sometimes I forget about the material thickness. You can see here I completely forgot to compensate for the thickness of the steel. The little bit of extra you see there is just because it's pushing against some welding on the inside. But yeah, I'm gonna have to cut this entire section down by two millimeter. Ah. So by adjusting the depth gauge, that's how much I need to cut off. You can see I just set this piece of angle iron to cut against everywhere the same. That way I know I get an even cut. Then we go and cut this off. And there we have a nice straight trim edge. So I've used the jockey wheels to level the trailer, as you can see it's perfectly level. So now I'm just going to make some markings on the side where I want the shelf to go. Okay, now you need to push and hold. Without push and hold? Turn it go. Get it go. So that's the two shelves done and dusted. Thank you so much for watching the video till the end. Please like, share, subscribe to the channel. And I'm freezing my butt off today. At least now we know what the trailer weighs. On the next video, I'm going to be working on the awning if I get the materials that I need for it. I've now seen enough YouTube videos to know more or less what design I want to build, what I think would be strong enough. So if I get the items then I'll be working on the awning, if not, at some stage I'm going to have to tackle this canvas that I've been evading because I've got no clue how to stitch the canvas together. So then I'll start working on that and see how that goes. But that's it for now. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one.